because in the search sometimes you meet a guy who's just like oh I don't want anything and he's like a hot guy you know and he's like oh I don't want anything serious but I would love to eat a whole lot of criticism towards the movement and all that especially when I seen that one TikTok video of all the passport bros holding up their passport and all I'm all the way up nothing can stop why would you spend $135 on a passport to go get you some ha that you can go get somewhere else guys welcome back to more to life now i got one for you today i can't wait to get into this but before i do I ask that you please like comment subscribe also be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you get my videos as soon as i release them now, i'm not going to hold you let's get right into it this video here this woman saying why she is for the streets Let's see what she has to say. Do you know why I'm upset? Because I have to be, okay? Because I am searching for love. It's impossible to search for love and not be a slut, okay? It's impossible to search for love and not be a slut. Now, she just opened up. I'm going to let her get into it because now I don't want anything serious, but I would love to. Did you hear what she said? But now she's not, she's supposed to, she, she's supposed to wait, right? But she's making it seem like she can't. And you see the joking grin on her, right? That deceptive look as she's explaining it. She's proud of it. Because in the search, sometimes you meet a guy who's just like, oh, I don't want anything. And he's like a hot guy, you know? And he's like, oh, I don't want anything serious, but I would love to eat out. And what am I going to do? I'm going to say no? I'm going to say no, don't eat out? See that, guys? That got to be a joke. But it is a joke. It is a joke because then she's saying that and she looks like she's giving the next one bashing the passport bros, right? But this is what's happening, guys. This is why all the women are responding are a joke to me because you have her, women like this, doing things like this, right? And then if I turn around and I have a bunch of these videos on my phone, guys, I can go on and on and on about this for days. But you got her, right? Then you turn around and then you have a woman doing this. So I'm going to make a part two to my Passport Bros pit video in response. And I've just been seeing a lot of like a whole lot of criticism towards the movement and all that. Especially when I seen that one TikTok video of all the Passport Bros holding up their passport and all that. I just want to understand what makes you spend $135 on an adult passport. Do you go literally get the same type of uh, that you can literally get from across the street? Like, you can't even spend, like, $60 on a TGFI Fridays? Like, come on now. And also, you know what? I'm going ahead and go say it. And this girl here is a cultist commentary, right? With with the bull ringing in the nose. This here, straight Satanism talk. She's in the, she's in the witchcraft, right? Let, let's keep going. A lot of this terrorism, a lot of this, like, passport bro stuff is either rooted in some sort of self-hatred for each other's other races, or, because let's be honest here, why would you leave the country to go get you some hoo-ha? Like, let's be for real here. Like, it's not that hard to discern why would you spend $135 on a passport to go get you some that you can go get somewhere else. Like, let's be for real here. We know a lot of you guys like a lot of younger women here. We we understand a lot of you guys are low-key pedals or into that type of stuff. And it's just so sad because a lot of people like you, we're not afraid to get rough with you guys. And it's just like, you know, you guys are so sad. I bet you, I bet you're not afraid to get rough with us. You better throw your hands up with us. That's why guys are leaving. Nothing to do with no, no, but they're trying to say no penalty, right? Nothing to do with that. And the guys that are doing wrong overseas, guys are calling it out. We're not saying everybody's going to be perfect when they leave. But she said, we're not afraid to get rough with you. You think we want a girl we're going to slap box with? When I was younger, I used to like to slap box, right? I was rough. You think we want a girl to slap box with? You think you want that? Every time I've come across a girl that was combative, and one thought she can raise her hand, I ran for the hills. I'm not saying that woman out there just want to 
raised their hand to this. I'm not gonna, and then because of because of her, I'm not gonna just bash all women back home because of you, right? Because not all women are like that. Because some of the ones that are feminine and that are still out there for the streets, they have some respect for themselves. I can at least say that, right? But come online and say the same thing. Like you didn't watch the Passport Bros playbook. This should be a playbook out. I think this should be a playbook for all of you women. Like, okay, you can't say this. This was already said. I have to say something different. Let me, that should be like a book report now. Let me make up something different. Because at the end of the day, you're talking about being rough with us. Guys leaving for something feminine and delicate. Feminine and delicate. Because that's what guys need, right? And ladies, you have to understand. Please understand. I got I gotta sing the Turner Town, sing the Turner song. That's the new Passport Bro song right there. Ooh, baby, don't you know that I don't want to fight no more. I don't really want to fight no more. It- oh, you don't want to hurt no more. It's over. You won. All we can do now, get on those planes and go. Because when we get over to these places, and we see anime in the Philippines, because that's the names, right? It's like old country names. <laughs> anime, or KN, that, that's for me. <laughs> we see KN, or, you know, one of the Philippines' southern names, right? <laughs> it's like, a whole new world. You step into a whole new world when you get over and everyone's happy to see you. It's like, hey, how you doing? Like today, for instance, I'm in, I go to Popeye's and the guy's like, hey, don't you remember me? So conversation, I'm not saying that doesn't happen in the West because that would happen in the West. But still, people that have been here know what I'm talking about. People that have been overseas know exactly what I'm talking about. People are just happy, happy to see you. And... Now, it's not only just the women, it's the cultures. How about that? How about you say, why don't you go over there and go experience that culture? Because that's what guys want too, right? That's what I want. That's what other guys want too. Guys don't want to be somewhere where the crime is happening like crazy. And people ain't people don't have any sense, right? People are escaping that too. You know, talking about that though, but still, it's not even—it's not even just that. It's mostly because of what's happening now. All of you women are showing your true colors, and the women in these countries, especially in the Philippines, are responding to it. Why is that? Like, wait a minute, hold up—you guys left. Now the women are saying you're garbage because you left. I see why you guys left. We had no idea. My wife had no idea until she seen all these reaction videos. And she said, oh, I see now. Same thing with all these other Filipinos and women in other countries. Oh, wow. I see why you left. Because when I came over here, I was at, oh, you know, all these folks, women in the bad guys. Was, I, I didn't even talk about you guys. Right? I didn't. I didn't talk so much you guys until a year ago. But still, it wasn't like I was out here for seven years. I was out here for seven years showing the culture and just enjoying myself. I was, I seen it was more to life than what my channel's about. And I experienced it. But I don't know what's going on. Woman using the same playbook because it's outdated playbook. You know, I think you shouldn't have to be able to respond unless you come with something different. But one thing I do know, there's definitely more to life than that. Guys, if you haven't already, go get your passports. Please, brothers. Peace out.